Good day. Welcome to King Mom's Everything. Today I want to look at PCB, PCB mounting feet. Not PCBs like dangerous stuff, but mo like motherboard, circuit boards. So do a search for PCB mounting feet and you'll find these little fellows. They're on Amazon, eBay, uh, electronic supply stores, but they're, go to eBay or Amazon. Uh, very inexpensive. I buy a whole bunch of them. I think I got a better deal. And I go through them pretty quick. But what you do is you put these in the little mounting holes of your motherboards. And this here is just like a video. I think it's a, a RGP, RGB to a VGA or that kind of uh, board. But you can kind of see I have four of them on here. And what you'll be able to do is you put them how you like them, how you want everyone to mount it. And then it gives you a little bit of space. So when you mount it to your plywood, the back of the board, on little contacts and stuff like that, aren't touching anything, and you get a little, little airflow. This one probably doesn't need much airflow on the back. It's got a heat sink on the front. But it's nice to have a little, little airflow behind it. And when you mount it to your, your uh, board or your metal back plane, it makes it look nice and professional. Same with this uh, little 60 and one JAMA board. I got these loose right now. But you kind of get the idea. Um, just kind of mount them how you like them. Tighten them down. Put a couple screws in your plywood of your uh, JAMA cabinet or your arcade cabinet. And it'll be nice and professional. Then it's nicely secured because you just don't want to screw this onto a piece of plywood and have it jammed up against it or try to make some little standoffs. This makes it look nice and, nice and clean, nice clean install, nice professional. So there you go. That is how you mount these nice little circuit boards in your cabinet or whatever project you want to do. Search for PCB mounting feet. Have a great day.